Hey, what's up, YouTube? Funky D. Got a ton of stuff to show you today. This is a recap of several days. We got just awesome stuff all around. They got a box break with some cool stuff. eBay auction win. Let's see. One, two, three YouTube packages. Uh, four TTMs. And I got my first stuff back from PSA for my 89 top certifications. I'm going to save that for last. So stay tuned for that. It's pretty sick. I'm going to do the TTMs first because I know a lot of people are here pretty much just for that. Um, got one card back signed by Dustin Hermanson. It's a die cut Premier Prospects. Uh, came out really nice. Uh, next one, this is Robert Long. I actually researched this address on my own because it wasn't on any of the sites. Managed to find a company that he owned, and um, that's where I sent it. And it took about a year, and I uh, finally got it back. Because Vance Law and Johnny Ray are fairly decent signers. And I figured he'd be the toughest one. And I really never thought I would see this again. So that's pretty cool. That is an address you will not find on any of the sites as far as I know. Maybe it's there by now because, it, like I said, this was a, about a year ago. But I'm hesitant to send it back out because I don't want to lose it, you know. <laughs> All right, next, some 89 tops. Been waiting on him for quite a while. Jody Reed signed right there and then he signed the uh, team leaders card so love to get these set cards in really happy with that return <clears throat> okay next I went to the Hall of Fame Classic um, met this guy Jim Hannon signed two index cards for me and he also signed this photo that I took of him uh, and the cool thing about it was all I sent him was an envelope and he you know put some cardboard in there to keep it protected and he even wrapped the note cards <clears throat> in, in like a piece of paper they were inside there so that was pretty cool i've never seen any of these guys do that before so i guess he appreciated the uh the request all right <clears throat> so that's it for the ttms move right along into the uh the other stuff i'm not going to show all these these are some 2012 tops chrome refractors i got these for 99 cents and I needed all of them, so that was a really nice uh, eBay pickup. Nothing, not any really great cards, but just the fact that I needed them all made it really good for me. Um, all right, then I did a trade with Aunt G. Jenna, fellow New Yorker, fellow Anthony. It's a nice note on the back there. <clears throat> and we did a trade. I got a ton of uh, <clears throat> tobacco minis. I'm still collecting these if you guys have them. Uh, one of the nicer ones here is this Michael Bourne, number two. Oh, wait, that's not the one that's numbered. One of these has a numbering on it. Yep, sorry, that was the one. 46 of 99. I think I had my finger over it. Jackass. Um, he also threw in a couple of extras here. There's a Rhett Bomar rookie card. Uh, Brandon Jacobs base. Uh, Tom Barrasso base and Jim this guy base <coughs> and then there's one more card that we traded for this one will be for trade or for sale uh, Dan Marino manufactured patch I think this is from 2009 yep it is 2009 tops so if anybody's interested in that let me know <coughs> oh and uh Anthony, I did get your, your PM back, so thank you for uh, for handling that for me. I appreciate it. Um, all right, then the next thing was, uh, let's see, we'll go with this one. <clears throat> I did another trade with um, Adrian Gonzalez, fan 23. Uh, this is actually two trades. The first trade was for uh, this Gary Sheffield bat card. I've always been a Sheffield fan, so that's a pretty sweet pickup. Uh, I got this... Hand number Jason Marquis Bazooka Back Mini from 2009, I think. Yep. So that's pretty sweet. I love these minis. If you guys have any of these hand numbered ones, I'm interested. Um, and I also like this, which was a David Wright Red Refractor, uh, number 22 or 25. That's for trade or for sale. Um, then we did another trade recently. Oh, actually, this was an extra he threw in a net trade. Joe Morgan Manufactured Patch. So thanks for that extra. And then the other trade we did, and um, 
Francisco, I still got to get your Franklin Stubbs auto out to you, but I will do that hopefully today if I have time, but definitely by Monday. But here's what he traded me for that. I got a Sam Fold autograph. Matt Talbert autograph with his number inscription. And uh, Tommy John back card. So, so thanks a lot for that. This is a lot to give me for that Franklin Stubbs auto, so I'll be throwing in some extra stuff for you. So if you guys are sub to uh, Adrian Gonzalez fan 23, you're missing out. He's a great YouTuber, great trader, very easy to deal with, and a good person. So I definitely want to go check him out. All right, let's see. Next, I bought a few cards from um, W Hills Seven. Now, when Walt posts a video, I know I'm gonna end up buying something. So I mean, it's a given. He's one of these people that's not unreasonable. Like he doesn't figure his cards are worth ten times what they really are, and. Um, I don't know, it's foolish to not buy the cards from him. <laughs> so anyway, I bought this, these lots of uh, Bowman uh, base cards. So I like the minor league base. It's always something I like to hold on to for in-person graphing. Um, let's see, and then we got this Scott Sizemore uh, Bowman Heritage autograph. Uh, got this Adam Bailey. He is a former Tri-City Valley Cat. He was on the team that won the championship in 2010. Um, so I'm looking to get all the different variations of this card. If you guys have it, um, I'd be happy to trade for it. So let me know on that. This is the red version, number 299. Um, okay, and then finally, well, actually, there's a couple more things. Sorry. Ray Knight autograph. Davey Johnson autograph. And last couple things here. I think I'm going to have to pick up the camera. I got a couple of 8x10s. Here is a Bob Feller signed 8x10. And an Evan Longoria signed 8x10. That thing is friggin' sick. I think I'm probably going to end up getting those um, certified. One of them, There's a certification for one of them, but it's um, it's not PSA or anything. So I think I might just get them certified on my own again. So thanks for that, Walt. That was great stuff. I really appreciate it. And uh, I'll be looking forward to your next for sale video. <laughs> All right, let's see. Then, like I said, I bought a box. And because I spent money on the box, I was talking to the owner about how I'm doing the 2010 Chrome Refractor set. He threw this in. The U Darvish Refractor. So that was really nice of him. Of course, I spent a couple hundred bucks. Cashed in some silver, you know. Got a bunch of rookies here, uh, Wade Miley, Kirk Neuenhuis, Jared Parker, Addison Reed, sorry I'm going through these fast, but Chris Parmley, these are just base rookies, Jesus Montero, Brad Peacock, Liam Hendricks, Matt Dominguez, Steve Lombardozzi, Jr. I think, right, isn't he? Eric Surkamp. <clears throat> Drew Smiley, Trevor Bauer, Alex Liddy, and of course, you Darvish. So, you know, Top's Finest, I'm a little iffy. Like, I've bought it a few times, and I'll be honest with you, I'm not overly impressed by what I get out of it. You'll see why. Uh, then there were some inserts Jason Mott, Tim Lincecum. None of these are numbered. I don't think. Uh, and here's a Jeremy Hellickson. Some of these are like X Fractor ish. Uh, then there was this Refractor insert <clears throat> um, Ryan Braun, Game Changers. That's not numbered. All right, then there was a ton of Refractors, X Fractors, and whatnot. Here's a Roy Halliday, X Fractor. Austin Romine, Rookie Refractor. Uh, Prince Fielder, Refractor. Lance Berkman Refractor, uh, David Price X Fractor, here's a Jay Bruce Refractor, here's an A Rod Green Refractor, number to 199, so that's pretty cool. Um, then here's a Dustin Pedroia Gold Refractor, number 2 of 50. Kind of rough to pull stuff like that for a Yankee fan, but what can you do? Then uh, the two big hits, if you want to call them that, 
here's a Matt Moore rookie autograph, um, refractor rookie autograph, and that is numbered 32 of 50. So that's kind of cool. And the big hit, another Red Sox player, Will Middlebrooks. It's the uh, autograph jumbo relic rookie X Factor thing. So I did redeem this. I was tempted to just list it on eBay, but <clears throat> they're not selling for much. And at the time, I was thinking maybe the relic might be a patch or something, but they're they're not. They're just jerseys, I think. So whatever. I mean, it's whatever. You know, it's the chance you take buying these boxes. You end up getting something like that. Although he is pretty decent, I guess. He's the, he's the guy they replaced uh, Kevin Euclid with. So maybe he's got a bright future. I don't know. All right, and then, like I said, I got my first shipment of PSA cards. I'm going to show you this just so you refresh your memory that that's the first one that I got. Barry Bonds for the win or the loss, depending on how you look at it. Um, I had sent <clears throat> 11 cards, and two of them came back not authentic. So, Brian, Penguin BL, sorry, bro, that's not authentic. That It's just questionable authenticity, so... And also this one, which I thought was good. I purchased this on eBay a while back, and it did go for pretty cheap, so I should have known better. Um, and looking at it now, now that I know it's not authentic, I can sort of see where it's a little different. But it's a pretty decent fake, actually, because it fooled me the first time. And I've seen a lot of Wade Boggs autographs. So that sucked. <clears throat> but we got a lot of cool shit here. Kurt Gibson All-Star. Of course, these were in persons from PJ Hill 23. Here's the other, the base card. Um, this is a TTM. David Wells. Not the best camera angle, sorry about that. There's Andre Dawson. Authentic Auto. Uh, Sparky Anderson, he signs that way anyway, so we'll just do this. Uh, Rick Mahler. Rick Mahler passed away um, years ago, so I was happy to see this one come back. I bought that on eBay, also for relatively cheap, so I'm glad that that one's authentic. Uh, and then here's Ken Caminiti. This was the worst-looking autograph, but I had compared it to some others, and I think that's when he just signed really quick. It looked like this. And it did come back authentic, so that was pretty cool. He's also passed away. Um, <clears throat> and here's one of the bigger ones. Mark McGuire. Another in person. And another one that I was sweating out a little bit, but it came back authentic. Pete Rose. That was an eBay purchase for very cheap and uh, turned out to be authentic. So I'm really, really psyched about that. So the set's really coming along. I'm going to be <clears throat> trying to do about 10 cards every so often. And I know it's ridiculous because why am I going to do the whole set? If you look at it, it would be like eight grand in certification fees with the discount that I'm getting. But, um, you know, it's just something long-term project. You know, you, pe people spend eight grand on cigarettes in a year. You know what I mean? So I don't think it's really that unreasonable as long as you do it slow when you pace yourself. So that's what I'm doing. That's what's up. Um, yeah, that really is everything. This is probably the longest video I've done in a long time, and I apologize for that. I just had a ton of stuff, and, um, the, my phone broke, so I couldn't record a video when some of this stuff started coming in, so that's why it's all in one video. All right, <clears throat> enough babbling. Take it easy, everybody. I uh, hope you have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you soon.